Hello, I am Mike Bro the Thrill, coming to you live from deep space. I am in a TIE fighter right now, trying to get away from the evil Thanos. You see, I have successfully stolen his Freddy Frazbear teddy bear. And now, I am trying to get away as fast as humanly possible. But, as I was flying away, I noticed something that a lot of people have with Marvel movies right now. Marvel villains have not been the best. Now, there could be a number of reasons why this is. It could be the fact that they're not casting great actors. It could be that they're not picking great villains from the comics. But I disagree. I think, for some reason, Marvel, especially during the MCU, and even Fox to a certain extent with Apocalypse, have not been able to deliver what needs to be delivered when it comes to a good villain. Marvel, ever since Iron Man 1, have kind of had this issue of weak villains. Now, the Iron Monger was not a bad villain per se, but he was kind of the start of this cliche, which is you bring the villain in, and it's some villain probably from the character's past, and then moreover, you kill him off. Now, something popular in the comics are reoccurring villains, an arch nemesis to keep it going. Unfortunately, Marvel has had a very bad track record with keeping these characters continuing. Really, the only villain that is kept going is Loki. And while Loki is an okay villain, he's not that great. He's angsty, the girls like him, but I'm talking like a villain villain. I'm talking like the Joker from DC, which, by the way, may not even be that good in the new Suicide Squad. The lack of creative villains is hurting the comic book industry, movie-wise, as a whole right now. And even though Marvel seems to be able to know how to create very interesting and fun characters, like superheroes, they can't seem to grab the villains all that well. For instance, in Guardians of the Galaxy, all of the main heroes from Drax to Peter Quill to Rocket Raccoon are very well crafted and very good and funny and we love them and they're characters we haven't heard about before because people knew about Captain America but no one's ever heard of Star-Lord. We like them, but the villain of that piece, even some would argue, was Thanos who, by the way, I stole your teddy bear Thanos, hashtag stolen teddy bear still doesn't seem to do that great. Ronan is not a good villain. He's after a plot MacGuffin that isn't all that interesting. I mean, the Infinity Stones, which, by the way, are like the Tesseract, that weird goo Kool-Aid thing from Thor the Dark World, who also had a crap villain, by the way, and the, uh, there's the Power Gem from the Guardians of the Galaxy, and there's like two more. They're not that great plot MacGuffins, and hopefully as the MCU continues we'll get better villains, but right now we like to kill them off and we don't like to really enjoy them. Now I say most MCU movies are like this with villains because not all of them. For instance, Captain America Civil War actually has the villain live, which is amazing. I mean, honestly, in the MCU, the most popular reoccurring villains is Hydra, but that's not really a villain, that's an organization. Our heroes don't really get attached to any of these big villains, and a lot of these villains are lackluster. I mean, all of Iron Man's villains have been meh, and what they built up in Iron Man 3 with the Mandarin could have been great, but they did it for a joke. Now, was it a clever joke? Yes, they took away... Uh, the Mandarin, and it was just an actor. Also, spoilers for Iron Man 3, not a big a deal. And that was interesting, but the problem there was we still didn't get a good rivalry between a hero and a villain. We didn't see an ideological battle. Red Skull got axed off? Axed. We don't, we don't, he could be alive. He could be floating through space. Oh, look, there he is right now. Or, like, Ultron. Ultron got taken out, taken out. I mean, they're open-ended, but they're not reoccurring. So the question is, Marvel movie-wise seems to be doing very poorly, but what about other places? Well, on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., since that show isn't all that great, their villains seem to be lackluster and killable, and uh, Ward is kind of the reoccurring villain, but he's not all that interesting. So what else do we have? Well, we have possibly the Netflix shows. The Netflix shows have had great villains, including The Kingpin, and Daredevil, and in Jessica Jones, the Purple Man. Both of these characters are drop-dead terrifying. They're horrible, they're scary, 
but in different ways. Kingpin is interesting. He's deep. He's dark. There's layers to him. You understand him, and to a point you even empathize with him. But at the same time, you're just like, he's becoming this terrible mob boss. And you even see his rise and fall and interesting character all around. The flip side to that is the Purple Man. The Purple Man is a serial rapist, and there's no love for this guy. He's bad, even though he doesn't really think he's bad, he's entitled, and overall, he's a character that I wish, spoilers again for Jessica Jones, wasn't killed off in the end. Marvel needs to let these villains come back or breathe or be around and not just have Thanos because here's the scary part. What if Thanos isn't going to be all that great? What if Thanos isn't going to be the badass that we want? Ultron was kind of built up the same way and Ultron kind of disappointed. So what if Thanos is really just not all that interesting and you might be able to steal his teddy bear. All right, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, check out our other videos up here. Uh, check out our sister channel, Rocket Squirrel, over here. Um, please like. Uh, in the comments, tell me what you think about villains overall in the MCU. Do you think anything's going to get better? I think it might with Michael Keaton being the vulture in the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Good choice. Birdman all the way. Uh, and of course, please subscribe. Wait. Oh, God. No, 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 no. God! You subscribed too hard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Something cool, maybe like something like a clip or a scene of something driving or something like that. Maybe the fire dude with the guitar. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the little Freddy Fazbear that I got? Isn't he cute? Yeah.